The very nature of Wednesday's engagement was a demonstration of the government's commitment to holding its senior officials to public scrutiny and the established standards of transparency and accountability. Prime Minister Gaston Brown revealed that his government was already acting proactively well before the most recent allegations were made public. In fact, the very case at hand, which involves Minel Bank, involves sharing of information when we did not even have the legal authority so to do. Because in July of this year, when a request was made to seize 69 accounts at Minel Bank, my government, through the ONDCP, moved expeditiously to seize the accounts, utilizing an administrative order even before a formal request was made. And Brown is also standing firmly behind the leadership in the ONDCP, uh, the lead agency on matters of cooperation and solving global financial crimes such as money laundering. And again, I think Antigua and Barbuda is very lucky to have certain public officials, including Colonel Croft and at the FSRC, Dr. Ash, individuals who will never compromise on the integrity. I believe that the ONDCP will be issuing a statement today to confirm that no one in my government, including myself, ever made any attempt whatsoever to the ONDCP to no level staff, high level or low level, to conceal or to frustrate the flow of information. And the facts will show that we acted at all times with propriety. But not leaving anything to chance, Prime Minister Brown has acted preemptively. He has relieved one diplomat, Luis Franca, of his position while declaring that he's awaiting word from Ambassador Casroy James. We cannot escape the fact that certain allegations were made that funds were paid to an individual. And that is a matter of some concern for my government. In fact, I've taken the decision to relieve Mr. Luis Franca of his position of honorary counsel immediately. And I have actually taken a position that if Ambassador Casroy James is unable to provide a satisfactory explanation as to why, if any money has been paid to him, that he too will be relieved of his position. So that is the position of my government at this point as we continue to seek further information from the U.S. authorities. Prime Minister Brown indicated that the government is still pursuing all legal challenges to get information from the U.S. authorities. The best option is a filing through the procedures established by the Mutual Legal Assistance Treaty between Antigua and Barbuda and the United States. Andy Leibard, reporting for EBS News.